with on the drift fly fishing again doing some more fishing knots for you for fly fishing uh, today uh, this is a real common one and uh, this is my favorite knot for tying uh, two pieces of line together now this is a, uh, a blood knot but it's important that the your diameters of of line need to be they can't be a, a huge discrepancy or this this doesn't work as well um, this is a knot that is mostly used for me, by me, when I'm tying leaders together. I'm, I'm making my own leader, and uh, I'm tying two different sections. Usually, I'm building the butt section to my, to my leader, or I'm attaching um, an, a, a cider line to my leader line. So, and, and this is basically, you know, I've got two different colors, so you can kind of see the difference as we do this, but... Uh, this is basically, it's really a good knot. And one of the reasons we love this is this makes such a nice, small, clean knot that it really doesn't have as much trouble getting through the guides of your, of your, uh, on your rod. And if you're, if you're doing some tight line nymphing or something like that, that always seems to become an issue. And so this kind of alleviates that. And I'll, and I'll give you a couple of tricks that I've done in the past too, to help with this as well. So when you're tying this knot, you're just going to get your two ends, your two pieces that you're trying to tie together. What I do is I just start by making an X. Let me try to get this, make sure I get it in the camera. And uh, what the X does is it gets your, your line going, your two lines going in the right direction. Because as you do this, what's really important is, is that your wraps on the opposite are opposite. So if you're going over under one, then you do the opposite on the other. I'll show you what I mean by that. So let me get a little bit more room here. So I'm going to start with this blue line, and I'm just going to wrap it around the orange line. And uh, depending on your, you know, your your size of your line, so we're going to go one, two, three, four. I usually like to do about five of these, um, and then you're going to come back, and you're going to go through this little loop that you created. And what I do is just pinch this to, to keep this this loop there. Now the hardest part for me in tying this knot is this part right here. I want to keep this this tag end from going back so i just kind of hold it with these two fingers you can see that now i'm going to go the other side and now i'm going to go the opposite direction that i did so i'm wrapping this in the opposite direction as i did the other one and what's going to be really important here and what you don't want to do is lose your little loop which i've almost just done but then you're going to go back through the same loop but you're going to go the opposite way and that, that's what becomes really, I think, important on this knot. Now, as you come through, I, I've got both these tag ends. I don't know if you can see that, but I've got both the tag ends held there. And what I do is I start tightening those other ends just a little bit so I don't lose those tag ends. So and there they are. You can see those tag ends are coming through. And, and I tie mine shorter. You know, one of the things that you can do is just leave your leave a lot of line through there. But now that they're there... And then what you want to do when you get it to this place is you can see how it's just, let me see if I can get that in there. There you go. And then you can just pull tight and you can see that just makes such a great little knot and the, the double color really shows it. And then that's really, really smooth. And then what you can do is you can just come in here and just clip off these. I know sometimes for tight line Euro Nymph people, they'll leave these so they can use them as ciders. Uh, I don't do that. Uh, I feel like too often uh, it just gives something else for my other line, my tippet when I'm casting and stuff to get hung up on. Nice thing about this knot is you can cut these things just really short. And another little kind of trick, I don't know if you can see that, but that is just really just a and, and that's, I mean, that's as solid as knot as you're going to get right there. That's just, and this is a blood knot. Another thing that you can do, and I, I don't do this as often as I used to, but sometimes I'll, I'll still do it. And you can take a little bit of your resin, just put a little bit of resin on there and then cook it with your UV lamp. And that even makes this even a smoother. And I've done that where I've just smoothed that out. And most of the time, this part of my setup is not going through the guides of my my rod anyway but if you're in that situation where you are and I, i've had that in the past it makes it even smoother but that's that's a blood knot and it's just that that's